Hello and welcome back to the course on physics for engineers. So this is now the last lesson for chapter 12 on DC circuits. So before we proceed with the lesson, let us first discuss and or review some uh, concepts. So uh, in the previous lesson, we have discussed about electrical power. It's current times voltage or current squared times the resistance. And in the previous lessons, when we discuss about uh, we first discussed about power, work, and energy. We define mechanical power as uh, the work done or the energy consumed per unit time. So in this lesson, we will be uh, talking about uh, electrical energy in AC and uh, DC circuits. So electrical power uh, is just the amount of electric electrical energy, say we designate it as E, used uh, per unit time or the electrical work done per unit time. So the work is just basically energy consumed or energy spent in doing that uh, work per unit time. So we can actually uh, define uh, power as electrical energy consumed per unit time. And from here, we see that electrical energy is just power times time. So uh, the common the common unit for electrical energy is kilowatt hour. So instead of joules, uh, we usually uh, use electrical energy in terms of uh, or describe electrical energy in terms of kilowatt hour. So for power instead of watts, we use kilowatt, and for time instead of seconds, we use hour, and that is the unit of energy called kilowatt hour, and that is what uh the that's what we are paying in our electric uh to our to our electric companies we are paying uh energy electrical energy consumed by our homes in kilowatt hour so knowing the unit for electrical energy the cost of electrical energy will just then be uh the electrical energy consumed e which is power times time times the rate of energy what's the price of uh, per kilowatt hour okay so our devices usually have a power rating but if you don't have a power rating so since power is just current times voltage you can find the current and the voltage rating for example in this uh, charger so in this charger uh, it utilizes 5 volts of uh, 5 volts DC and 2 amperes of current so meaning the current uh, the power generated by this device which is also the power consumed by this device is 5 volts times 2 uh, appears which is 10 watts uh, by the way uh, inside this charger is, is an ac to dc converter it converts uh, ac energy so you plug this into your outlet and in your, and in your outlet uh, uh, alternating current actually flows through that but uh, you give uh, you give this to your you charge you use this to charge your cell phone and uh that's dc your cell phone uh uses direct current so your smartphones your electronic device usually uses direct current so basically this charger is an ac to dc converter it converts alternating current from the outlet you plug this in your outlet and then you convert it into a direct current so that one in converting from alternating current to direct current, the power is conserved. So if this uses 10 watts, so this gets 10 watts of AC from the alternating current outlet, and then it also uh, converts it to 10 watts DC. So power is conserved from AC to DC conversion. So you will still have uh, 5 volts, 2 amperes, so 10 watts. Uh, 10 watts power rating here. Uh, when buying uh, refrigerators or freezers, usually have this energy guide, and this will tell you uh, the rated power input, and this will immediately give you the energy consumption per uh, day, per uh, per 24 hours. So basically, this is the average power. The, en the energy consumption that is placed here, if you will notice, this is 0 0.61 kilowatt hour per 24 hours. So the hour will be cancelled out, and you will get kilowatt kilowatts so basically this is the power 
the average power. So this is the rated uh, input power. And this is the average power of your uh, uh, freezer or uh, air conditioner. So let's have an example. So energy consumption of an of a light emitting diode, a LED, an LED light bulb. So find the energy consumption for a month of a 10 watts LED light bulb, assuming you are using it from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. every single day. And find the cost of this energy consumption if the price is 10 pesos per kilowatt hour. Assume one month is 30 days. So let's first uh, solve for the energy, consum uh, energy consumption. And before that, uh, we need to know the power and the time. So the power is 10 watts. We need to convert this into kilowatts. So divide by 1000. So you have 0 0.010 kilowatts. And then the time is 12 hours uh, per day since 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. Multiply that by one month, 30 days. So the total hour in one month that you, that you use the light bulb is 360 hours. So the energy consumption will now be power times time. So zero, this one in kilowatts and then this one in hours. So the final unit is kilowatt hour. So you will get 3.6 kilowatt hour. So to solve for the cost, the cost is just the energy consumption times the rate. So 3.6 kilowatt hour times the rate is 10 pesos per kilowatt hour. So kilowatt hour will cancel out and you will get 36 pesos. So basically, uh, uh, the monthly cost of operating a 10 watts LED bulb for 12 hours a day is just 36 pesos. So that's uh, very energy uh, efficient. So LED bulbs are actually very energy efficient if you compare it to the old fluorescent or incandescent uh, bulbs. That one. Okay. So let's have uh, another example. Energy consumption of a smartphone charger. So find the energy consumption for a month of the smartphone charger shown in the picture, assuming you charge your phone once a day for two hours. So find the cost of this energy consumption if the price is 10 pesos again per kilowatt hour, assume one month is 30 days. So we know that uh, we are not given the power, but again, we are given the current and the voltage rating. So current is 2 amperes, voltage is 5 volts, so meaning uh, the power is 10 watts or 0 0.01 kilowatts, similar to our 10 watts LED bulb. They have the same power. But this will have a smaller uh, energy consumption because you use it only for 2 hours a day. Unlike the LED bulb, we, we use it 12 hours a day. So the time, uh, time consumption is just 2 hours per day times 30 days also in one month you use it only for 60 hours so a uh, power times time the energy consumption is just 0 0.6 kilowatt hour and then the price or the cost is just energy times the rate so 0 0.6 times 10 pesos per kilowatt hour so you this means that if you have a 10 watts charger and you use it only for two hours a day then you will only be uh you must only be charged six pesos per month for that one so if your landlords or your landladies your boarding houses are charging you 100 pesos that's actually too much so you can give them this cut you can give them a calculation this is what i learned in physics for engineers uh, that uh, the power consumption of this charge is just very very small it's actually negligible six pesos that's basically negligible or free so don't be fooled by your landlords if they're charging too much fees for your smartphones or even other electronics and appliances because you can now actually calculate how uh, how much uh, energy is consumed by your uh, device so let's have another example <clears throat> so this is a refrigerator so this refrigerator has a rated power input of 71 uh, watts but uh, its energy consumption is only 0 0.61 kilowatt hour per 24 hours. So basically, this is the average power here. So assuming the cost of energy is 10 pesos per kilowatt hour, what is the energy consumption for a month and the cost of this energy for one month? So the cost of energy we will not use the usual power times time since we are only give we are, we are now given the energy consumption per day. It's 0 0.61 kilowatt hour per 24 hours or per day by 30 days so meaning the full uh, consumption of this uh, if this uh, I don't know if this is an air conditioner or refrigerator but the total com consumption of this in one month energy consumption is 18.3 kilowatt uh, hour so 
Meaning the cost is just 18.3 kilowatt hour times 10 pesos per kilowatt hour, you get 183 pesos. So an aircon, an air conditioner or a refrigerator, I think this is a refrigerator. A refrigerator which for one month is uh one month energy consumption will only be, uh will only cost you 183 pesos. That's very efficient. So usually this is what we call the energy efficiency factor. The higher the number, the higher the efficiency. So meaning uh, the more savings that you have. So modern refrigerators are now becoming more energy efficient, actually. And they're also very smart. They can adjust their power to uh, minimum value or they can turn themselves off whenever it reaches the desired temperature. So that's actually what happens here. So even though the rated power input is 71 watts when it's operating, but when it's cold enough, the refrigerator will shut itself, uh, the, uh, will turn off the power, zero watts. That is why uh, this is the average uh, power. So that's how uh, devices are becoming smart right now. Even your cell phone, even your smartphone chargers, they're also smart. So when you reach full charge, sometimes they already cut off the power or maybe maintain the power to a very minimal value, negligible so basically, our devices are becoming more and more efficient. Okay. So that's it. That's the end of this lesson. And it's basically the end of this uh, chapter on DC circuit. So I hope you have learned something. And I will see you again in another, in the next chapters. So see you soon.